Hi mum, this is our air fryer. It's a Kasori, which we got from Amazon, and it's got one drawer. The size of it is probably only to here on my arm and just past my wrist. As you can see, it's got one drawer which comes out like this and inside the drawer is what they call a crisping plate that you use when you want to do chips and things. So you just put the food into there, into the drawer and then slip it back in and it locks. The air fryer then comes on and on mine it's just a glass panel on the top and I tell it I want to switch it on. It then lights up. I tell it to preheat and it will take four minutes to heat up. If I, there's presets along the top, so if I wanted to do chips, it says fries and it will set the temperature to 195 for 25 minutes and it will switch off halfway through so I can shake the chips round, open the drawer, shake them round, move them and then put them back in again. And that's all I have to do and mine starts up again. Mine starts up again once you've done that. As I say, there's presets along the top or there's temperatures where I can turn down or turn up the temperature and the same with the time I can either turn the time down or turn it up it's got a keep warm and actually I'm not sure what that one does I think if that's a restart if I've paused it then it will restart it so if I want to do a preheat I will push that and it just preheats it to this temperature and it takes four minutes and then I press go no, I don't. Sorry, turn the light. Preheat, and then I press that one. That's the go button. And as you can hear, the fan has started up inside. That The outside of it doesn't get hot. And as I say, it's not that big. It's, you know, only the size of my hand. And it's just a cabinet with a drawer and a big fan and a heating element in the top. And that will now warm up and it will take four minutes to heat it to 205 degrees. So that's plenty enough for doing chips. So I'll heat it up. We'll pretend that it's heated. I will then, this is now going to be really hot. I'll put my chips in there. I will slide it back in. I will say fries. Sorry, I'll have to tell it to stop heating. If I can. No. Push it in there. I will then tell it fries, and then I'll tell it to cook my fries. If I wanted to do a lasagna, or something of my own that I'm wanting to control, then again, I'll just put it in. Close it up, switch the button. I would choose the temperature, say 180 for 10 minutes, and then I just push go. So then I've got control of it that way. You don't have to use the presets. So that is basically it. That's what mine's like. It's one drawer, it's quite neat and compact. So if you, look, if you look inside, it is just a cabinet. And then this is actually, this is actually dishwasher proof if I wanted to, or I just wash it in warm soapy water. Uh, and that is basically what it is. And it's about the same, same as an oven, but it's a lot quicker. It's a lot smaller and it costs a lot less to run. And as I said to you before, sometimes if I want to double up, I've got this and I'll put the chips in the bottom 
and then I'll just stand that on top of the chips with maybe some fish on it or some sausages on it and then I'll just put it back in and Bob's your uncle. I hope that helps. Let me know how you get on. Okay, bye.